What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Finance Medium. If you don't subscribe, please ring that bell down below and please like and comment. But I'm supposed to be doing a story of time about when I got pregnant and how and the whole story about it. So, let's start. So, let's see. Um, around April was when I conceived. That's when I got pregnant with my baby. So, around that time, I'm... I was working. I was working at Snappers on 183rd, matter of fact, by Norland. I was working there. So at this time, I was planning getting ready for my own fiance birthday party. So his birthday is June 2nd. So my plan was to, I think it was, it was the indoor skydiving. I was planning that. I was planning to do a rental. So I was planning to go all out or whatever. So this is why my mind wasn't too much on my period or when I was, you know, having it when it's supposed to come because I was like, you know, trying to plan a birthday. So I didn't care. And then plus I was really, at this time I was working nonstop, overtime because I was trying to make that money. I was trying to get that check pitch. So I wasn't playing. But so around April is when I could see it. That was my last time I had my period or whatever. So that's when it happened. So since the end of April, I was working. Like I said, none stop trying to get that cash and get that money for this birthday I was gonna have for June second. So May's anniversary was um I think May is the fifth month. So May twenty eighth is May's anniversary. So around this time, this was like I was still working at Snappers. I was still, this is when I was really saving up the money. So I had $800 saved for his birthday and I was going to get him an outfit or whatever. So what happened? Had to think, brainstorm. So yeah, so I had to go get him an outfit around this time. Okay, so the day of our anniversary, it was my favorite the day before him because I had took off our anniversary, and then that weekend, um, supposed to be his birthday, so I had took that weekend off too. So the day before our anniversary, I had came home from work, and he was working. Matter of fact, I think he was working at Advanced AutoZone. Advanced, I'm saying Advanced AutoZone. I think it's Advanced AutoZone or AutoZone. I really forgot which one it is, but he was working at one of them because he worked at both of them, so he was working at one of them at the time. So around that time, um. He was working there. Okay, so yeah. So I was home before him. And I was waiting on him. Because I wanted to sit here and see what we was going to do for our anniversary. Because it was the next day. So I'm waiting on him. Whatever. So I'm home sitting in the bed. Just waiting. Playing with my dog. This when I had my own pit bull. So me and the dog was chilling all day. Waiting on him to come. So then he finally came. And he was sitting outside. So I'm like, okay, okay, well... Why you didn't come inside yet? And he started texting me, oh, you know, I haven't been feeling this. So I'm like, I haven't been feeling what? So remind you, I didn't know I was pregnant. He didn't know I was pregnant. Ain't nobody knew nothing at all. So this was just going on. So, yeah, he was just like, oh, I haven't been feeling this. And I haven't been feeling this. So I'm like, why you haven't been feeling this? Like, what you haven't been feeling? What's, what's going on? Like, what have I done? Because in my mind, I'm thinking like, I've been working non-stop planning for your birthday and you even knew that. So what have I done? It's not like I done cheated on you or I done talked to somebody. So what's going on or whatever? And he just looking like, oh, you've been working so much that we haven't been able to communicate or talk. So I'm looking like, okay, but you know I've been working. You know, I've been trying to get the money or whatever for you. So he texts me, just texts me. And I'm like, okay. What's the point? Just say what you got to say. So I'm thinking like he done got into an accident or something. Because then he starts saying, oh, I'm about to do something crazy. And I think I'm going to regret it. So I'm thinking like, okay, is you going to go hit somebody with your car? That's my mind. Like, is you going to go hit somebody? Boy, what you doing? That's the first thing I got in my mind. He was like, no, I think I already done did it. So I'm like, did you cheat on me? Because bitch, if you did, we finna have a fucking problem. So, he looked like, no. So, I'm like, okay, did you hit somebody with your car? Did you get somebody? Did you do it and run? Because you did. We can end this right now. Not like break up, but we going to hide this and we going to keep it moving. I got your back and I ain't snitching. I'm right or die type of shit. That's me. 
So when he started laughing, so I'm like, okay, everything cool after that. Like, okay, nothing happened. Then was like, honestly, I think you need to come outside. So I'm like, okay. So mind you, he was sitting outside this whole time. He was texting me in the car. I walked outside to the car. Boom, see in the car. He already cried before I get done. So I'm like, what's going on? Like, you crying? Why you crying for? What you, like, what you crying for? So then he tell me, oh, we got to break up. So I'm like, what you mean? All that's going through my head is like, our anniversary tomorrow. We're supposed to make the year you do this to me. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. And I'm not going to lie. It was no, it was no talking. It was no talking after that. All I said was, you, you, you really real about this. You, it's over for real. And he was just like, yeah, it's really over. So I'm like, damn, like, you wasting my time. I just, that's all that came to my mind. Like, you truly wasting my time. I just, like, you know, having two apartments together, you proposing to me, you waste my freaking time. Like, it was a waste of my year. So, I come in the house. My, we living together. This is our second apartment, so we still living together. We got a dog together. We engaged. So, it's like, wow, that was it. Like, damn, that's all I get in my mouth. I was like, damn. So, hold on. Let me go get my baby. My bad, but so yeah, so it was just like that's what it is. Came back in the house. Um, first thing I did, I called my mom in law, so I called her, and I'm like, He broke up with me, it's over. And she knew our anniversary was, you know, the next day. So, yeah, so I'm calling her. I'm on the phone with her. I'm crying my eyes out. When I tell you I was boo crying, I'm crying, snogging my, my nose. Mama, let me tell you what he did to me. She looking like, what's going on? So I'm telling her, he left me. He said it's over. She said, why? So I'm like, I don't know why. He just dumped me, like, out of the blue. He just dumped me. So then she was like, why? Oh, he just probably going through stuff right now. So then he came in the room. He come crying. And I'm like, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. So then she talking to me. She like, let him talk. I'm like, no, I don't care. I'm done. So then I hung up the phone with him. And then she called him. And she asked him, like, what's going on? Why are you doing this to her? Da, da, da. So that's when he was just like, oh, I just think I'm too young to be trying to settle down right now. And stuff like that. What's wrong, mama? So, he talking to her. I'm packing my bags. I was done. Packing my bags. And I'm calling my sister. I'm gonna be like, girl, I'm coming to Daytona. I'm coming to move with you because I'm done with this shit. Da, da, da. I was on go and I was mad. So then, as I'm packing my stuff, around you in my own, in our room, it's like pictures of us all on the wall from every event that we done been. So it's pictures of us from the day that we first met. So, as I'm packing my stuff, I back up and I look at everything on the wall and I'm like, I turn to him like, damn, you really finna get this up. Like, this is what it is. You done for real. And he was like, I need some time to think. And I'm like, you know what? I said, I feel like after a year or two and giving you my own, you know, my heart and whatever like that in my life, 
I feel like you deserve, you know, some time to think about what you really want to do. Because at the end of the day, I love you with all my heart. That's what I'm telling him. So, he was like, okay. But I told him, at the end of the day, we could be in this house together right now. And so, you know, excuse me, so our name is off the lease and everything like that. But I'm looking like, other than that, don't speak to me. I don't want you to touch me. We can be in the bed together. Don't touch me. Don't hug me. Don't kiss me. Because we ain't together. This ain't what you want. Remember that? So, next day was our anniversary. Everything I did plan, everything that he planned, it was out the, it was just out the window. It was in the garbage. It was just last time I checked, you know, we was we were single, so everything was gone and done. So from that point, I'm sorry, I'm too bright. So yeah, so from that point, everything was just out the window or whatever. So I'm looking like it is what it is. You do you, I do me. We could be in the house together. It is what it is, just like that. So, they say, I ended up just going into work. It was like, fuck it, I don't need to be home and be around you every day, a whole day crying, go into work. So, mind you, I was working with his twin sister. So, me and I was working. So, we working, blah, blah, blah. She saying, you know, you good, you still my family, ain't nothing gonna change or whatever. So, my mind, I'm telling her, like, I'm good. I'm good off of him. I'm good off the whole situation. There you go, mama. You just need the bird. So, yeah, like I'm telling myself, I'm good off this situation. And then, day, I'm going to always be around for him. He's going to come back. So yeah, to that point brain. So I probably stay so that was the twenty eighth. The twenty ninth or the thirtieth is when I had to go back to work. So I did. So me and him still wasn't talking. We was laying in the same bed. We wasn't touching each other, no kissing. But yeah, he was still trying to. He was just like at the same time we can't cuddle and I'm like, no, it ain't no cuddling, this ain't what you want. Remember, you don't wanna be with me. Go find somebody you wanna be with that cuddle with you then. So, I guess that's when he really stopped feeling like the pain of losing me and how life really would be without me. So, at the same time, he was doing what he was doing when we were together. He started going out to his friend's house and staying out late night, coming back three in the morning. And I just laying in bed on my side of the bed watching TV. He come in that room. I say, don't touch me. Put pillows in the middle of the bed. And then they don't touch me still. I don't know where you been at. Because that same time we wasn't talking, so I didn't know where he been at. So, I think it was... Okay, so it was June 1st. This is the day I went to work. And something in my mind told me... Because I already started thinking about stuff. Like, if I settle down, I'm looking like, okay, I ain't seen my period this month. That's what went through my mind. I'm like, okay, I didn't see my period this month. Something going on. That's the first thing that came to me. Like, damn... And we not together, so if I am pregnant, me and I'm not together. And from that, it was just like a moment of silence, like, what do you do? I'm looking like, I don't want to tell him I'm pregnant just to bring him back in my life. And then what if I tell him and he feel like I'm lying just to make him stay around? Like, it was going to be all, you know, I was going to lose regardless, I felt like. And I also just felt alone. So I didn't even want to tell his sister because I'm looking like, if I tell her... She probably feel the same way. I'm just doing this just to keep him around. I'm like, I don't want to do that. If I'm in pregnant, he'll probably find out later on when it's really, you know, probably three to four months and I'm start showing. That's all I told myself. I'm glad I'm not going to tell him, hey, it is what it is. Just know I'm not hiding it from you or whatever like that. And that's how I feel. So, June 1st, that night, I came home from work. When I came home, he was in the room, and he was waiting for me. He was like, we need to talk, da 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 I'm going to talk about what? He was like, I made a huge mistake. I don't want to lose you. So I'm like, what made you notice this? And, you know, he was like, oh, because for the past few days, I've been doing everything I couldn't do when I was with you. So I'm like, you know, been doing what? Oh, I've been, you know, hanging out with my friends every night. And going out, he was 
like seeing what they do. He was like, this, but this not the life I want. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to clubs and just sit on the corner with homeboys and talk about girls you could have had when I had somebody. So I'm looking like, I'm happy that you noticed that. And I said, I'm willing to give us another chance. Like I said, I was in love with him. I'm still in love with him. So that was not going to change nothing in day. So I'm looking like, I'm going to give him another chance. But like I told him, I'm looking like, don't expect me to be able to just jump back into it. Like we tight and we cool and we got this. Because it's going to be hard. Because you just love me when I trusted you the most. So, yeah. From, from there, that's when we just, you know, we was back together. So, my, he still didn't know I was pregnant. So, like I said, June 2nd was his birthday. I didn't do nothing for their birthday because, you know, he dumped me a few days before that I canceled everything and kept my money to myself. That's how I felt about it. So, they ended up, you know, playing like a cheesecake thing for their birthday and was going to go to the club that night. So... I'm like, okay, well, we is about to get the regardless of, you know, you did for my birthday last year, I'm still going to do for you. I'm like, do y'all still want to do the fly diving? So, it was like, yes, I'm going to get right enough for everybody to do fly diving. And so, I fly diving or whatever. Call it a day, it is what it is. So, while we get in dress, we supposed to go to the club. So, everything was paying. We supposed to go out to eat, go to um to the club and Sunday go fly diving and go fly diving or whatever. So that night while we getting ready to go to the club, he came to me and he was like, I have a quick question. Did your period ever come on? So I was like, my mind, I know it did not. And my mind, I know I think I'm pregnant, but I don't know yet. And I don't want to sit here and say nothing. So I was like, um, I don't know. So he was like, but... You know, we been, you know, been having sex and I haven't seen your period on, blah, blah, blah. He was like, you think you could be pregnant? So I'm like, I could. I think I may, I mean, I could. So, boom. He wanted me to go get a pregnancy test. So I'm like, uh uh, because I'm like, I'm, I'm sticking to the point. I ain't pregnant. I ain't saying yet yeah, and I ain't believing it. No, sorry. So, get what I was saying. So, yeah, he still went and got his piece. Still went and got the pregnancy test. Told me to take it. He was in the bathroom with me. Took it. So, I was like, boy, I can't be pregnant anyway. Boom. Da -da. We ain't been doing it like that. He was like, yeah, we have. Because in April, you know, we was met each other and we was always having sex. Da -da. So, I was like, yeah, you right down. So as I'm talking, he got the pregnancy test in his hand, walking in and out the room. So he come back, and all I see was, like, his mouth drop. He was like, and then he started crying. So I'm like, I knew from, from the tears, I'm looking like, I'm pregnant. And he was like, we having a baby. So I'm, I'm still on the toilet, still on the toilet, I'm still peeing. So as he's saying that, and my mouth dropped. I'm on toilet, piss coming out me, crying while I'm on toilet. I mean, I'm pregnant. No, no, I can't believe this. I'm like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. And then after I got them pants, I still was sitting on the damn toilet, panties down and all, still sitting on the damn toilet. And I was like, I'm really pregnant. Nah. I told myself, like, nah, don't believe it. So the next day, so we find out. So long story short, we found out on his birthday, June 2nd, we found out that I was pregnant. So to me, to this day, I feel like that was a blessing sent from God because it was, we broke up and then it was, it's like, that was his birthday gift or something. And he always said he wanted a child. So I felt like that was his birthday gift. He got what he wanted. So the next day, June 3rd, we told everybody. Early morning, told his mom, his dad, we told everybody, my family, we told everybody. Some people was like, I already knew. Some people was like, girl, that I didn't believe me. It is what it was. Boom. So 
So that's how I found out I was pregnant. And yes, I got dumped a few days before. But no, I didn't make him be with me because I was pregnant. If that's what y'all fortunate. So don't even sit there and say that. They ain't got no that right now that did not happen like that. So that is the story on how I found out I was pregnant. But otherwise, I hope you guys like my story. Please watch me for more because I will have more stories to tell you guys. So like, comment, and please ring that bell down below and subscribe because I will be posting once every day from now on because I am back. Um, you know, I was away for a while. I was away for a while. Mm, Telling time my own stuff for a minute ago. But I was away for a while, so I am back. And like I said, just prepare to be hearing stuff because I have stories to tell you guys. This girl is a mess. I have some stories to tell you guys. So just prepare. But mm, so that's the story on how I got pregnant and when I knew. And when I found out. <laughs> Thanks for watching me. Talk to you later. I'm going to sleep. Mm -hmm.